Hello, so everyone in Jefferson, I just wanted to make a video about how I do webtoons formatting. Um, so as you can see, I've got a template that I use, and I don't always remember to not save what I'm working on in the template, but here it is. It's about 800 wide, 800 pixels, and then uh, the depth doesn't matter because you can change it. So. Um, I apologize beforehand, this will be pretty off the cuff. And this is actually the second time I'm recording this, so we'll see. So basically I just go and open the pages that I'll need. Um, for this one I opened the whole book, but I try to only open the pages that I need because otherwise it can get slow. So this one's going to be interesting because it's a spread. Typically, and most of the pages I work on, I haven't done spreads. So as you can see, I, I've got a page already done here uh, in, in book format, and then I take them over and turn them into, into webtoons in this scroll over format. So um, what I have done here is I've just merged the layers. So I've created just basically a flat image. Um, and I like that because it's easy to work with. And I was just trying to be clever there. It didn't really work. Nobody laughed. I did, I mean, but that's, that doesn't matter. All right, so as you can see, I had a problem because I, I accidentally merged the text in there. And see, that can happen. Sometimes I won't merge everything. I'll just bring over separate layers because that's nice, too. You can put stuff in the background, but typically I'll merge everything over. And I just have a custom action for that. Uh, and it just merges stuff. I don't remember what it's made of. Uh, I guess if anyone's curious, they can ask. But it's pretty, it was easy to make just merges all the visible stuff. There's a there's a way you can do it also in Photoshop, and that's where I, I took it from. So anyways, I apologize, because like I said, this is kind of off the cuff, so I'm not, and it was a while when I recorded, or it was a while ago when I did the screen capture, so I'm really, I don't really remember a whole lot of what I was doing. Um, so right here, I'm just kind of trying to get the layers that I want and merge them. As you can see, I just selected certain ones into my little merge action, and uh, it brought just, brought just the kids over and uh, no background, which is cool. Like I said, that's a cool thing you can do. The only thing that bothers me about, well, not the only thing, but one of the big things that bothers me about Clip Studio is that there's not really a way to just drag and drop from one document to another like there is in, say, Photoshop, but it's it's kind of a minor annoyance, really. Um, uh, right here, I'm actually going to take stuff, and I don't do this very often, but I'm going to take something from the previous episode and put it at the beginning of this one so that you can kind of, or that I can kind of tell what I've already done. I know a lot of Reptoons creators will sometimes go through and put like a last time. And I'm going to start doing that for like, when I start a new chapter, I'll probably have like a little bit devoted to like last time. But I, I don't know, I think sometimes that's kind of just a way to fill space. <laughs> uh, that's really mean. And I understand because, man, it's, people can get kind of, mine don't, my readers don't. Of course, I don't have that many yet. I love them. They've all been super great. And, I mean, there's there's one guy or, or girl who's who commented and gave me a lot of, like, pretty good feed, like, critical feedback. And um, I did, I actually went through and did some of those changes. And they, they're like, hey, you did better. I'm going to keep reading. And I was, that made me so happy. I was like, this is, this is great. This is why, like, Critical feedback is great. Uh, anyways, I'm getting too far off topic. So, I don't know what I'm doing here. This is also, I like I said, I recorded this once before. I did the voiceover and everything, and I was using a free piece of software, and it exported it at like 720p, and it looked like crap. So I was like, let me redo this with different software. Um, but I, the last one, I also, I, the video was faster. I sped it up. It was like, I think it was like 15 minutes or something. This one's slower, so I have more time to talk, which is good. Um, I'm just kind of trying to find where stuff is because I'm, I'm exporting that background now out of the spread separately. And spreads are, are difficult in the scrolling format because, you know, obviously you don't have that much width to play with. Um, so you kind of you kind of need to chop them up. Sometimes what I'll do with really wide panels is I'll chop them up in, into threes. So like the left half of the, of the scene or the spread or whatever it is, is like one tall box. Then the middle of that is another tall box that's right below it and I'll blend them together, or maybe I'll just put them in separate panels. 
it's it's kind of fun. Like it's a little bit stressful sometimes, but it's kind of fun. I'm a designer by by trade, so I kind of like to do that kind of stuff anyways, like kind of figure out layouts and where things should go. Uh, I'm also a huge nerd, so that helps. They're kind of running around now, like, oh gosh, we gotta get away. Come on, we gotta run. She's got her cane there because she's blind. So she can't see. It doesn't matter. I love that it doesn't matter because it's, it's completely dark outside anyways in this world. This amazing, interesting world that I've made that no one's ever thought of. Um, yeah. So just kind of moving stuff around there. Man, I have a lot of time in this video. <laughs> I didn't think I'd have this much time, I guess. I could be actually be drawing parts of this. Like right now, I'm supposed to be doing the pencils for Chapter 7. And I'm not. I think I'm actively avoiding doing it because um, I stopped doing. I stopped working on it for a couple weeks while I'm doing a, a class, a CGMA class called Creating Comics and Graphic Novels. It's actually really good. I'm probably going to do a video review and um, kind of talk about my thoughts a little bit later. But it, it's really nice. I figure it's okay. I'm I'm about. I work ahead for webtoons, so. Like I said, I'm actually working on chapter seven right now, and I'm just now post. I'm just about to finish up chapter four as of the recording of this video. I think next week the last part of chapter four goes up, the last episode. So I've got a buffer. I'm not super worried about it. The buffer did kind of start shrinking quicker than I thought, so I I went to just one upload a week, and it does not seem to have affected like my subscriber growth or comments. It's so especially for someone who's also doing other projects or works a full-time job or has kids like like I do all those things I, I do maybe one once a week is good I don't know I mean you, you gotta do what's best for you but I, I think once a week for me for my kind of comic works really great and I'm gonna say it works probably for most people I hate to be that guy that's like this is the way you should do it but I also hate those people like hey, everybody's different. Do it your way. I think sometimes there are there are absolutes, especially in art and just you know ways to do things better. I, I think there it's not a sin to say there's absolutes. Like you need to do it this way or it's not going to work. I respect people who do that, even if they're wrong. I respect that they kind of took a stand. I don't know. This is getting way off topic, but I don't know. Maybe maybe people like it. People like to listen to people talk about stuff. I guess I do. I like to draw to like live streams and stuff, recorded ones. Um, I like to draw and ink to those. Uh, well, no, I like to ink to them. I draw to music. So down here, I made like a little triangle panel, uh, and I'm kind of just resizing the stuff inside that panel. Another another complaint I have with Clip Studio, this one's a little bit more than minor, is that you can't. Oh, at least I don't know how you can't really drag around. Uh, a frame that's got something inside it and drag both items at the same time. Like if I wanted to drag this around, this frame that I'm working, or this border that I'm working on here, this, yeah, it's a frame. I couldn't drag that and the thing inside of it at the same time. I'd have to drag the frame and then drag the thing. So usually I'll just do like a shift and then the arrow keys to kind of move it like a couple spaces, like count out, and then I know that I need to move it in the same amount of spaces. But it's a minor complaint. I mean, overall, the software is pretty good. My uh, my computer crashed. Actually, this I recorded this before my computer crashed. It com it completely crashed, and I had to reinstall Windows. It was great, but the easiest program to get back up and running was was Clip Studio because you just sign in and it's like, all right, here's all your stuff back. Just get get back to work. I was like, oh man, I love I like I really like this. I I gotta say. Clip Studio is a great program. I mean, if if anybody was ever think, even thinking about making comics, I would say at least get the cheapy version. Okay, so here I'm going in and uh, just expanding the canvas. You can just go to edit, change canvas size, and just drag down the bottom. And I do this a couple times. Even if I think I have a good idea how long an upload's going to be, or an episode, I will end up resizing, which is super easy, and I'm, I'm really glad that it is. Like I said, it's a great piece of software. If you're even considering doing comics, it's it's worth it to get the cheap version. And then if you're serious, just drop the money. And they had well, they used to have sales like every week. Now they're not they're not having them because they're they're not trying to get rid of so much inventory. But I imagine they'll probably do the same thing when the new version comes out. They'll have a bunch of sales on the old one or on this one, which is five. 
Manga Studio 5, as it was when I bought it. Copying in the sound effects, those are on separate layers. Sometimes I'll make a selection, like I'll, I have an action set up to make a selection of everything on a layer, and I'll just copy and bring it over. The only problem with that is when you do that with text, it creates like a really thin, like little ghosty border around the text that doesn't go with it. It's kind of weird. So, I, I don't know. You can usually just drag the layer around and just copy and paste the actual layer using the object, uh, or the operation tool, I'm sorry, the little cube, which I've gotten used to. I, did, I used to hate that tool. <laughs> I hated it so much. And I love it now. It's a good tool. It's fine. And then there's also the move tool, which you can, you can configure to only work on like light, the layer that you're selecting. So that's cool too. All right. So now I'm going to another page. And I'm only going to do the left page of this spread. Actually, I'm just going to do the top because the, the middle here is going to be, that's going to start a new episode. And that episode actually turned out really well, I can say, because that was weeks ago when I did that episode. And I like the way it looked. I don't know in the catalog of my episodes where that what episode that is. I think that lady's face is the thumbnail, though. So if you went to my Webtoons or my Topastic, just, just go to Webtoons. If you went to my Webtoons, uh, the thumbnail is that lady's face. She is no one, by the way. She's just a made-up character. She's not anybody important. Nobody asked, but... I'm always pretending that people are talking to me about this, and they're not. Somebody asked me to do this. No, nobody asked me to do this. Nobody asked me to do this video. I have a friend, uh, Jefferson, who I told I would do this video, and he's like, oh, cool, because he does comics, too. Um, and I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll do a video. I'll show you how I, how I do. And he's like, oh, cool. But he didn't ask for it. He's going he's gonna to get it, whether he wants it or not. Boy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm editing the canvas size again. Really, I work a little bit different now. What I do now is I just, I'll drag in every, like, bit, like, every merged piece of art first and just kind of, like, lay it out, get the spacing out. Because, you know, like, right here, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do this now. I wouldn't put this so close, these so close, like, these, these um, merged bits of art. I wouldn't put these so close. Or, okay, I guess I didn't. I moved it. <laughs> Sorry, like I said, it's been a while. Yeah, you keep them apart because the more distance between the two uh, illustrations, the two bits of art, uh, the longer, the more people, time people perceive to have passed. So, and I'm going to kind of blend these in a little bit. I don't think I'm going to have, I think I don't have a panel, or I don't have this one in a panel. I think I blended in. That's why I jiggled my mouse around to show you guys because I was like, oh, at this point I'll talk about how I'm going to blend them. And so I did. So, thanks, Past Kyle. You are you're a smart dude. Pretty handsome too. Why don't you have a girlfriend yet? Okay, so I'm making another panel here. I'm gonna put my merged artwork in there. And so you see, like on this one, like I was saying earlier, I kind of had a uh, like a wide panel, and I just I just chopped it up into threes. That's the magic number, it seems to be. I kind of do the same thing for, for Instagram. Maybe I'll make a video about how I do my comics on Instagram. It'll be a lot shorter. I don't, I'm don't. i not getting a whole lot on Instagram right now. I I get like um, three followers a day, but then like I'll lose another three. So I've been staying, as of the recording, this has been at like 47, 48. That's really sad, but yeah, I'm not, I'm, you know, it's fine. I'm just trying it out. That's the thing with these with distributing your art, you just gotta try different channels and, and really see what works for you. You can't get discouraged when one doesn't work out, especially if you don't like it that much or if it's hard to, to distribute to that channel. Like Instagram does not make it easy. They, I mean, it's it's not that bad, but they do not make it easy. So if it, if I go like a year and it hasn't worked out, that's that's fine. I think I'd probably be okay just kinda letting it go. Maybe posting pictures of mountains and stuff. Uh, okay, so right now I'm selecting the word balloons. And I'm just using my select all the stuff, you know, that I have selected action. And I copy and paste them over here. Now, another thing that kind of bothered me about Clip Studio that I've gotten over now is that when you paste in word balloons, like using this method, they come in in a mask. So I have a delete mask action that's, and you can just right click on a layer and go delete mask. And it does the same thing. I just have an action. And nowadays I just drag my little actions palette over to where next to where my layers are. So I can just click that button a bunch of times. 
it goes really fast. But it, it bothered me. I think the first time I did one of these Webtoons uh, episodes where I formatted one, it was like it took me like two hours because I was just figuring out everything and just kind of like, why does, why does Clip Studio make it so hard? But now that I know, it's okay. So like I said, you just select the text boxes on your, your main page and uh, you select all, copy, and then go over to your episode and paste. And like I said, they'll come in in a mask. Just delete the mask because if you don't, it's gonna, it's just gonna be, it's gonna be bad for you. You're gonna, you're not gonna like it. You're gonna hate it. It's peach tea. You're gonna hate it. Another thing I don't like about Webtoon or about Webtoons, uh, about Clip Studio is that when you try to make a word balloon tail, it will insert it into whatever layer you're kind of in. It doesn't care. It does not care what layer you draw that tail on. It's like, well, you're kind of drawing it in this panel. We're going to put it inside this mask. So you got to like drag it all the way up. So it's kind of annoying. I size all the text down. So on the actual printed page, it says it's nine point font. But when I bring them over here, it gets really big because, you know, this is a much lower resolution. This is 72 DPI. So I have to size them. It comes in at like 45. It's too big. So I size them down to 35, which is I found to be just right. It's pretty readable. Maybe it's even a little little too big, but see, here's the problem. Um, okay, when I first did the 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 pages, I now this is my problem. This is not Magma Studio. Um, I didn't think I would ever need to see what was under the word balloons, or anyone would, because you know they'd be kind of flat when you print them or export them. So I didn't draw or paint anything typically behind the word balloons. So when I have to move them around for webtoons to kind of form, you know, to kind of move them around and make them go different places, uh, it'll lead just leave big holes. Now, from chapter five onward, I stopped doing that and I started drawing and painting the whole thing, even what was going to be under a word balloon, which is I would recommend to anyone at all like just don't I'm not saying this, this might not be right this might be right for me but not for you no do it because you're gonna save yourself a lot of heartache if you ever need to move word balloons you're like crap there's nothing under this word balloon like it's not you know you, you might need it you just never know you might need it so or if you ever like um, draw an amazing panel and you're like wow I wish I could sell that as a print well you know without word balloons well now you can because there's no word balloons, but there's still stuff on them. Anyways, like I said, my my formatting is about to get a lot easier because I won't have to have I won't have to have the because right now I have to have the balloons in the same space in the same place pretty much they were on the printed page to cover up the holes. So it kind of limits me. Um, and I've had comments about my word balloons on these, and people are like, why are they? They're kind of in weird places sometimes. I'm like, well, there's a reason for that because <laughs> I don't want to spend hours going through and redrawing uh, a lot of stuff. And that's that's I'm lazy. I don't do that. If if somebody's complaining, do, you know, or if a lot of people are saying there's a problem, you should, you should try to fix it the right way. But whatever, man. <laughs> I love my readers though. They're they're great. I, I really I, I gotta say for webtoons, it was a slow start. Uh, it really was. I was surprised because everybody was like, yeah, it's great. Okay, so now what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of running through real quick. I'm scrolling down, seeing if I can see any big errors, anything that I need to cover up, any typos, anything like that. Um, I'm kind of reading it as the reader would read it before I export it all and start chopping it up. Because once I start doing that, it's not impossible to go back and fix, but it, it does suck. It does suck. All right. Looks great. And I'm going to export it as a, just a flattened JPEG. There we go. That's fine. And the settings don't matter. 100% quality is fine. It's going to get knocked down anyways. Um, so I make a folder. And I put that and that, the CSP and the uh, JPEG in there. So that's where that goes. And I have these, I have these templates uh, that I use for the thumbnails for both. And I know that technically I could just use the Topastic thumbnail and scale it down because Topastic allows you to have like a bigger thumbnail. I think it's like 200 by 200. And Webtoons allows like 150 by 150 or something like that. But I make them separate just because, um, you know, you got to have some character flaws. All right, so I just paste in an re image I think is cool or representative or is going to be eye grabbing. And I just kind of size it around. It's pretty easy. I mean, this, this part takes like two minutes for both. 
Um, so yeah, I just kind of size them around, and then I'm going to save them out as a flattened JPEG. There we go. It's flattened. I'll save it in that same folder. And uh, I save all this onto a Dropbox folder too, so that way if you know anything happens and I need to upload this and you know to Webtoons or to Plastic from outside of you know from away from home, I can do that. So right now I'm bringing it into Affinity Designer, which is a great program just for this one use. You can always see clear. Um, Affinity Designer, and I'm making slices. You can do the same thing in Photoshop. In fact, you can do it easier because you can uh, make one big slice and tell Photoshop to subdivide into slices that are only 1,200 high. You could probably, I need to do it, but you can make an action or a droplet too. So you could just drop your JPEG onto the droplet and there are your slices. They just go into a folder. This doesn't take long, and I really like Affinity. Um, it's, it's 50 bucks, and you only pay once, and it's it's like Illustrator and Photoshop kind of combined. Not not really. It's 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 its own program, but I like it for doing slices, especially for Instagram. I will not do them in Photoshop for Instagram because I I don't like the way Photoshop does like some some of the slicing stuff. But yeah, there you go. There's the slices. I put them into my folder, and so here I'm going to go into Webtoons. And I don't care if you guys see my numbers. It's they're they're higher now. You guys don't even know now. But yeah, they're not this this is like a month ago, so I'm not really too worried about it. But upload my thumbnail. I won't be showing to it because it's pretty much the same. The only difference is you have tags that you need to like, you know, search tags, which I haven't found to be super helpful, so I just kinda like put a few in there. Going through one more time, giving it a look over, giving it a once over. Alright, looks good. Looks amazing, in fact. I did a super job. I am a hero. All right, so then I went through that just so I could find the title. Something like, you know, I try to, for Xerlux, I try to keep it two words. You can drag and drop the images in there, but it kind of messes up the order, so I just do upload. And then I kind of try to write a fun description, and I'm going to save a draft. So, and you can uh, publish that in the future by pressing publish. They don't have a schedule thing like Tavasti does. I hate that but you can just come back later and pr just press publish. So it's easy if you need to do this from work or something. So that's it pretty much. Uh, I'll just end on this image that I, at the time I thought was really cool. And I was like, I'm going to show everybody this great image that I made. And I don't know why I didn't just open the first image because I know it was the cover that I was trying to show you guys. But anyways, I was proud of it at the time. Shut up. Um, so my final thoughts, Webtoons has been great. Um, there, I, I know that there's difficulties monetizing it. I think right now I'm okay with just the readership, like having a lot of readers. That's good. Maybe I'll do a video in a little bit about my thoughts on Topastic versus Webtoons. I don't know. But thanks for watching, guys. Love you. Uh, good night. Thanks.